Politics is a very lucrative business all over the world, but perhaps there's no place in the world where this is more evident than in Africa. The political elites of Africa are among the highest paid public servants in the world. Some African states spend so much on maintaining the lavish lifestyles of their top government officials that there is very little left for the people to survive on. It is a known fact that there are rich personalities and figures here in Africa and that the leaders of the different countries on the continent are not left behind. There are quite a good number of presidents earning and receiving a huge amount of money every year. Note that this list doesn't portray how rich the African presidents are. Rather, it only contains the top 10 highest paid presidents in Africa and their respective yearly incomes. Hello observers, welcome and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and turn the notifications bell so as to join the observers community. Together, let's change the negative narratives about Africa. Top 10 highest paid presidents in Africa and their estimated income per year. Number 10. Denis Sasu Ngesu, President of Congo, $108,000 yearly. Denis Sasu Ngesu has been President of Congo since 1997. As President, he earns $108,400 annually, making him a big earner as far as the President of Africa are concerned. Before rising to the Presidency, he was a military leader in the country's army. He was also president from 1979 to 1992. He is believed to be one of the richest African leaders even though an exact estimate of his net worth is not available. The Republic of Congo has a GDP per capita of $1,972. However, there is plenty potential for growth. Number 9. Azali Asumani, President of Comoros $115,000 yearly. Azali Asumani, 59 years old, is the president of one of Africa's poorest and unpopular countries, Comoros, since 2016. Prior to then, he served the country from 1999 to 2006. The president made it to the list despite the fact that the people of the country are not finding it easy. Azali Asumani earns about $115,000 every year, putting him on the ninth spot on this list. Number 8. Emerson Nangagwa, Zimbabwe, $146,590. Emerson Nangagwa has been president of Zimbabwe since 24th November 2017. He earns $146,590 per year in his position as president, making him one of the top-earning African leaders. He presides over a small country with a population of about 14 million people and a GDP per capita of $1,128. The country has a diversified economy that has plenty of potential for growth. 7. Teodoro Obiangema Mbasogo President of Equatorial Guinea, $152,680 yearly. President Theodoro Obiangema Mbasogo has been President of Equatorial Guinea since August 1979. He earns $152,680 per year as President of the country, making him one of the highest paid presidents in Africa. Equatorial Guinea has a good economy, the major export is petroleum but the country also has other exports in varying quantities. The country has a GDP per capita of $7,143, which is quite good by African standards, and there are other presidents earning far more than Teodoro Obiangema Mbasogo. Furthermore, after more than 30 years in office, he could have increased his salary if he wanted to. Equatorial Guinea enjoys a rather high quality of life. This is considered one of the richest African countries. Number 6. Abdel Majid Tabun, Algeria, $168,000. Abdel Majid Tabun has been president of Algeria since 2019. He presently earns $168,000 per year as the president of the country and has also held other sensitive positions in the country, such as Minister of Defense, Prime Minister, and Minister of Housing. Abdel Majid Tabun is the most powerful man in Algeria and one of the most powerful persons on the continent. He has instituted wide-reaching reforms all over the country, 
aimed at turning Algeria into one of the biggest economies in the world. Abdel Majid Tabun has unified the country and set it up on the right path. His salary of $168,000 per year is quite modest for a country like Algeria, which is considered quite wealthy by African standards. Number 5. Yoweri Museveni, Uganda $183,216 General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni is the leader of Uganda, a position he has held since 1986. He earns an annual salary of $183,216, earning him a place among Africa's highest earning president. With his huge salaries over the years and additional payments due to him as leader of Uganda for about 35 years, he has amassed a fortune estimated at about $13 billion making him one of the richest persons on the continent. Yoweri Museveni was a military officer who led rebellions against Obote and Idi Amin. He helped to restore sanity in the country after it was almost run aground by Idi Amin. Although he is no longer courted by Western powers, Yoweri Museveni has managed to stabilize the country and rebuild the economy. He has opened up Uganda for business and attracted investors from all over the world. President Yuwari Museveni is one of the longest serving non royal leaders of any country. Number 4. Uhuru Kenyatta, President of Kenya, $192,000 yearly. President Uhuru Kenyatta is the President of Kenya. Interestingly, his father Jomo Kenyatta was the first President of the country. With an annual salary of $192,200, Uhuru Kenyatta is one of the highest paid presidents in Africa and with an estimated net worth of $2.5 billion, his family is the richest in the country. Uhuru Kenyatta has a personal net worth of about $500 million, making him one of the richest in the country. Even though there is still time for Uhuru Kenyatta to prove his political metal by initiating some long-lasting reforms, he has already proved himself as an astute investor and businessman. Number 3. Cyril Ramaphosa $223,500 yearly Cyril Ramaphosa is the president of South Africa. He is also a businessman and for a time he was a labor leader. Cyril Ramaphosa is worth an estimated $500 million and so his wealth does not depend on his position as president. He is one of the richest persons in South Africa and one of the most powerful on the continent. He is an astute politician and businessman. Cyril Ramaphosa is a wealth builder. Number 2. King Mohammed VI $480,000 per year King Mohammed VI of the Kingdom of Morocco is the second highest earning leader in Africa and no doubt one of the most powerful. He ascended to the throne on the 23rd of July 1999 upon the death of his father, King Hassan II. Morocco is a hereditary monarchy and so he took the throne after his father died. He is also going to sit on that throne until death which will make him the longest serving leader in Africa. King Mohammed VI's palace has a daily operating budget of $960,000. Every year, the state pays 2.576 billion dirhams to the palace. This covers staff salaries, clothes, cars, as well as maintenance of equipment. Number 1. Paul Bia $610,000 per year the president of Cameroon, Paul Bia, is the first on our list of highest paid presidents in Africa. Paul Bia has been president of Cameroon since 1982. He is one of the most powerful men in Africa and at 88, he is also the oldest head of state of the continent. Paul Bia earns $610,976 in salaries every year. That is by far the highest amount earned by any leader in Africa and even more than the President of America, Joe Biden makes per year. President Paul Bia has been ruling Cameroon since 6 November 1982, making him one of the current longest serving non-royal heads of state in the continent and the world at large. Paul Bia earns an estimate of $610,976 in a year, 
This does not include fixed premiums, fees of sovereignty, and the weekly notes. This puts him in the first spot on the list. Conclusion Looking at the list above, you'll wonder why these leaders are paid this much with yet little or no results or seeming less results. Well, you've seen the list of the top 10 highest paid presidents in Africa, so you can decide whether these heads of state deserve the millions they pocket depending on their country's economy. The highest paid presidents in Africa do not necessarily govern the richest countries on the continent. However, because the continent is experiencing notable economic growth, it is possible to say that being well paid has allowed the leaders to focus on the job of building their countries rather than be distracted by corrupting influences. Hello observers, this brings us to the end of this video. We'll love to know your thoughts about this video in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and turn the notifications bell so as to join the observers community.